Although we did not find clear evidence that Secretary Clinton or her colleagues intended to violate laws, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Everything I did was permitted by law and regulation. I had one device. Secretary Clinton used several different servers, and she also used numerous mobile devices to send and to read email on that personal domain. I used uh, a single uh, account for convenience. Obviously, uh, these years later, uh, it doesn't look so convenient. My use of personal email was allowed by the State Department. None of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system. And I never sent nor received any information that was classified at the time it was sent and received. I never sent um, classified uh, material on my email and I never received any uh, that was marked classified. 110 emails in 52 email chains have been determined by the owning agency to contain classified information at the time they were sent or received. What, like with a cloth or something? Well, no. The email software was removed. That didn't remove the email content. The effect was that millions of email fragments ended up in the server's unused or slack space. I didn't have to turn over anything. I chose to turn over 55,000 pages of my emails. This helped us recover work-related emails that were not among the 30,000 that were produced to state. I'm sorry, I've taken responsibility. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case.